We're getting new video and information tonight about the Mario Gonzalez case. He was a young man who died in police custody in the city of Alameda nearly a year ago now. His family is suing the city and suing the officers involved. And as Corn Force Teresa Estacio reports tonight, the officers tried to find out how and why Gonzalez had so much alcohol with him when he died. A warning, the video may be alarming to watch. Initially calm, then quickly becoming chaotic. That is what new video released by the city of Alameda shows in the death case of Mario Gonzalez. Come over here. We don't want you to fall down, okay? okay. All right. Yep, Put your hand behind your back and stop resisting. Oh, no wonder. Police responded after a neighbor called 911 about a strange man in his yard. There's a man uh, in my front yard kind of talking to himself and no mask and I went out there and the dogs were barking at him and he, he's talking to us but he's not making any sense and I don't know what to do. Appearing intoxicated and pulling a cart full of these newly released photos of alcohol. The officers called for a physical wrap to take Gonzalez into custody after he resisted handcuffs. A part of the newly released document cites a city ordinance stating it is illegal to be drunk in public. However, while on the ground waiting for the restraint, Gonzalez passes out. The video graphically shows a police officer attempting life-saving efforts until an ambulance arrives. Crews took him to the hospital where he later died. It looked perfectly appropriate. As part of the crime scene log released, officers spoke with residents and collected data, including surveillance video showing Gonzalez at neighboring stores. A security guard at a nearby Safeway gave a statement saying that Gonzalez often stole alcohol. A coroner's report found his death was a homicide, but that drugs, alcohol, and obesity contributed. Recently, the Alameda County District Attorney announced the officers would not be criminally charged, citing the evidence did not justify criminal charges. Currently, the officers remain on administrative leave as an external investigation continues. Teresa Estacio, Cron 4 News. Police in Grand